Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing this infamous Dutch braid hairstyle for you. I see it everywhere on Instagram and I am obsessed. It's so easy to do. So starting off, I am first making sure I don't have any knots in my hair and applying some hair oil. I just want to make it a little bit more shinier so it doesn't look super frizzy. With a rat tail comb brush, I'm going to be using the end to make a very perfect middle part. It does take me a couple of tries, so if you're by yourself, maybe use a mirror. And it's okay if it takes a couple of tries, it's pretty hard at first. I personally feel like this hairstyle looks the best with a middle part. Now get the other half of your hair out of the way and take about an inch section of your hair that you want to start your braid off with. Divide this part of your hair into three sections. The main difference between a Dutch braid and a regular braid is that instead of taking the pieces over, you're actually going to go ahead and take the pieces underneath the middle piece. So I'm first starting off by taking the left piece and then the right piece to go underneath my middle part. So once again, I'm taking the pieces and braiding them underneath the middle part. Once you've done this once, you want to go ahead and start grabbing pieces that are actually more attached to your head in the sense that it's not from these strands and place them with the strand and then take that whole new strand and put it underneath the middle part. And only do these for the outer pieces. So as you can see, I did it for the right side. Now I'm doing it for the left strand, taking this together and then I'm going to place it underneath the middle strand. And now I'm going to go ahead and do it for the right side. So basically you want to place your hands to braid where you want your braid direction to be. Some people like to place it closer to the ears, more to the back. I kind of like it more towards the middle. And as you go, you want to make sure that you're tightening your braid every time. The smaller pieces that you take of hair, the more neat and precise that your braid is going to look. And the bigger the pieces, the more messy that your braid is going to look. I personally like to keep it right in the middle. I apologize for the awkward angle for the back pieces of the hair, but you basically want to make sure that you grab every single floating strand of hair because if you miss any strands, it will look pretty awkward. Once you get all of the pieces of hair, now you can simply Dutch braid easily. Towards the front, this is the really nice and simple easy part. Once I'm reaching towards the end, I like to hold it with my fingers and actually start tugging at the braid because I feel like it makes my braid look fuller, makes it look like I have a lot more hair, and gives it a lot more volume. Instead of using a hair tie, I actually prefer to use rubber bands because I also feel like it makes my hair look a little bit thicker because the hair bands are a little bit smaller. Now go ahead and just do the exact same thing on the other side. Exact same thing. <laughs> I will go ahead and just fast forward this part for you guys because yeah. Alright, yay! So go ahead and tie that part with another hairband. Make sure that the hairbands are at the same length. And taking a teasing brush, I like to spray it with some hairspray. And go ahead and tame those baby hairs because I feel like it looks super messy. And I also like to take a couple strands of hair around my ear and bring them towards the front because that whole sleek hair look does not look good on me. I look like a naked mole rat. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Alright guys, so that ends the tutorial. I hope that you all enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye!